This project makes use of existing waste heat from the London Underground extraction shaft and harnesses that energy into the district heating network which gets used in the local homes. The main technology used for this is the ammonia heat pump. The heat pump transfers the warm air into warm water and then subsequently into the district heating network. And as a result, this project provides cheaper, greener energy to the local community. We've also extended the existing heat network on Bunhill and this connects to the new energy centre while also connecting an additional 500 homes to the network. We've got millions of people using the tube and the northern line of course is one of the busiest lines on the network so the Bunhill project helps us take waste heat that's created by people and moving machinery, uh, recycle that energy to support people having cleaner energy, uh, cheaper energy. It's part of our overall strategy. Undertaking a project of this complexity and uniqueness was, was difficult, particularly because there's no learning to be got from previous projects. And one of the big issues in this project was there are a number of different partners involved in it. Colloid acted as a design and build partner on behalf of Islington Borough Council. We worked closely with Transport for London. On this site we also had UK Power Networks who provided the power. And we also had to bear in mind that we were working in a very congested part of London with a lot of residents close by. Being in such close proximity to, to Bun Hill and our children having grown up with the project, there's been real benefits for them. They got to take part in a project when it initially opened uh, finding out about how the science behind it, how it worked. They created an animation which was used then for the local community to understand the project better. By conducting a thorough mapping exercise, looking at all the infrastructure in the borough, looking at the sources of heat that potentially are there, and also the heat loads, we decided that taking waste heat from the underground and connecting it to the existing Bun Hill network, thereby extending it and building resilience into the network, was a great way of achieving the Council's aims. TFL for years have been trying to find ways on how they can reduce um, the heat on the tubes. Um, so this is a win-win situation that we were able to work collaboratively to reduce the heat issues that TFL have been trying to tackle. So taking the waste heat from the tube allows us to heat the local schools, businesses and homes, but also generate cheap heat for our residents. The heat pump and the London Underground extraction shaft is powered by combined heat and power gas engines and they produce both heat and electricity. The electricity goes towards providing the power for the heat pump and the extraction shaft and the heat produced by those two pumps gets transferred into the Bond Hill network. What I think is particularly impressive here is the leadership that Islington Council are showing. Uh, investing in this project, the Bunhill project, working with London Underground, a really willing partner, is so important for all of us to learn about how we can become more energy efficient. Yeah, throughout this project we try to work closely with the local residents and the local community. During the construction period we've had to dig up roads in this neighbourhood and do a lot of work around Energy Centre 2. One of the ways we did this was to have a, a resident liaison officer and they work closely with the local residents. We want this not only to be uh, replicable here in London, but across the UK and across the world.